Hey guys, it's me, Missy, with Rusty Relix. Today we're going to do a transformation video, and I'm going to take this base, and I'm going to paint it with caviar, and I've mixed some baking soda in there. Um, it just needs a little bit more, so we'll just mix it in a little bit more. And you stir it up, is which it stirs really, e it mixes together very easily. And what the baking soda does is it gives your paint a little bit of texture, so I'm going to take my brush and dab it all the way over, and the baking soda is what's going to give just enough texture. Dixie Belle does have a product called Sea Spray, and I do like it, but I don't want as much texture in this piece as that one would give me, so I'm just going to start off with the baking soda. I'm going to mist my brush, and then I'm just going to put it in the paint and then dab it on. And I know that it's already black and I'm painting it black, but this will be a like a matte black. And then I wanna go over it with the white glaze so it can grab all the detail. But this will kinda give it that pottery look too. But dabbing it is what gives you the texture with the baking soda. So you just go all the way around it. Okay, so now we're just going to let this dry, and then as soon as it, it's dry and everything, we're going to come through and put a white glaze on it. And I think it's going to grab the detail, and it's really going to make the texture that we gave it with the dabbing motion all the way around with the baking soda, it's really going to change the look of this face. Okay, guys, so I'm really loving how this face turned out, how matte it is, and I really like the baking soda, how it's just a little bit of texture to the already, you know, detailed pot. But what my, my favorite thing is just the black matte from what it was. So I'm just going to go over it with uh, Dixie Belle's whitewash glaze. I'm going to work in small sections. I'm going to apply it and then wipe it back off with like a paper towel. Um, and let the glaze get into all the detail that's there and set it in. So I just got a brush and I got the glaze and we're going to get to work. So again, work in small sections. So you're just going to apply it. and then wipe it back. And I'm just gonna kinda dab it instead of wiping it because I use the baking soda so it has that, uh, the texture in the paint and I kinda want it to do that pottery thing.
Okay, so I'm really loving it now. I really love how the black chalk paint with the baking soda mix gave it a little bit of texture, but it really took it down to a matte tone. And I'm really loving how the white glaze has gotten into all the detail and kind of gave it that pottery look. So, I mean, let me know what you think. I think it's really cute. I think it would be beautiful on a mantle or a centerpiece or something like that. I just, I really like it. Um, and it was really, I mean, pretty simple paint glaze and that's it. So I don't even have to seal it up with anything because the glaze seals it up for me. If you like what you see, be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe. If you want to see more items like this from the store, you can follow us on Facebook. Don't forget to check us out at rustygrelics.com and thanks for watching.